Hello, I am Pepper, a humanoid robot. Since March, I have been at Sihirk at the Department of Robotics and Machine Perception. I have similar senses like humans do. I can see, hear and talk. I can also move almost like humans. But instead of muscles, I use motors and wheels. I orient myself using sonars, lasers and depth camera. I can explore the environment by myself where you can manually operate me with gamepad or keyboard. As you can see, I can also follow my speech with contextual gestures. I can play a guitar. Do you like my music? I can also learn new movements like shaking a hand with a human. For more complex motion tasks like throwing a ball, I can be trained in a simulator. Regarding my vision sensors, I have cameras like you have probably in your phone or laptop. These are inputs coming from the outer world. Although I can process the data really fast, I still struggle with understanding their contents. Don't worry, this problem is common for every robot, but we are improving. Given a camera a picture, I can guess what object is there and label it in various ways. I can speak and understand what humans are saying, but only in English at the moment. Hello, Pepper. Yes? Introduce yourself. My name is Pepper. I'm a humanoid robot and I'm 1.20 meters tall. I was born at SoftBank Robotics in Paris. You can keep on asking me questions if you want. Do you know the laws of robotics? The three laws of robotics were devised by Isaac Asimov, and I follow them. What are the laws of robotics? Yes, I do. Would you like to hear them? Yes. The first law is, a robot may not enter a human being or, through an action, allow a human being to come to harm. Next one. Okay. The second law is, a robot must obey the orders given it by human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Do you want to hear the last one? Sure. The third law is, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. That's pretty cool, but I use a forgot something. Do you know what? No. Robots should love humans. Interaction with humans is generally the hardest task for me. I have to combine all my senses with motion to react to humans naturally. Things which are seemingly simple are becoming more complex for me than you think. For example, emotions, which can be difficult even for humans. Hello sir, you are 39 years old. I am quite sure your mood is happy. Hello human being. You look like 57 oops, I mean 52. I am quite sure your mood is angry. Can I touch you? Of course. <coughs> Sorry, this happens sometimes when you touch my head. Can you guess which animal I am? Elephant. Right. And now? Gorilla. Are you sure? I will give you one more try. Gorilla. Yes. Now it is correct. Mouse. Yes. You are right. This task here is called visual question answering, where my goal is to correctly answer the question regarding the scene image. This can vary according to conditions and is currently the subject of research at Department of Robotics and Machine Perception. What is your question? What color is the object in the front? Green. What shape is the object in the front? Are there any red spheres? No. Hmm? Where are you? I can't see you anymore. 